Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers and I am back today with um, the Magical Mystery Bead Box and I'm going to do like um, an earring blitz showing you how to make four different pairs of earrings using the January 2023 Magical Mystery Bead Box. So I saw all of, the, there were like six mixes in there and all of them just, I thought these are gonna be so great to make beautiful pairs of earrings. Um, and I kind of mix it up, I didn't stay within one mix. I loved um, designing using all of them together. So today we're gonna make four pairs of earrings, one pretty easy one that we're gonna start off with. We're gonna take um, these beads. Uh, I think I used Anna Green Gables um, and uh, the Charlotte's Web Mix for this one. So I have one of the flower charms, a large crystal, a green crystal rondelle and then three metal beads. I'm also going to need some 24 gauge wire. This is um, beetle on German style wire. And I'm going to take um, uh, probably a good, a good length of wire and cut that off the spool. And I'm going to slip on my charm and I'm going to slide that to the middle. Pull this down to the middle and then pull my wires together and slide on my big crystal. I'm saying this is the easiest one, um, especially if you know how to wire wrap uh, because it's just stacking once we get that wire through the um, charm. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my saucer, my green crystal, my little daisy spacer and my flower. And I actually <laughs> put the um, uh, petal down instead of the petal facing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like that on this pair or this earring. Slide everything down and we have a really cool stack. I'm gonna try and grip my wire with my pliers and pull these beads down just a little bit more because there's a little bit of extra space right there. There we go. Looks good. I am just going to keep the wires grouped together, bend them back over my pliers, reposition my pliers and pull that towards the front. Reposition again, pull that towards the back. So we have a loop and I'm going to slide. Normally I would hold it with my flat nose pliers, but I don't want them to crush against each other. So I'm going to slide my um, mandrels back in and start wrapping. And I'm going for a pretty sizable amount of wire showing here. It's going to be kind of messy. Stop a measure with your heart, I would say. <laughs> Wherever you want your um, wire to end. I think that's pretty good for me. I'm going to loop that around to the back and trim. Next, I am going to grab a an ear wire. This is also beetle on. Open that up and slip on my earring. And we have a cute little funky pair that I think is going to be great heading into spring. Look at those cute little flowers and all, all that sparkle. That's something that's just going to make you happy. Um, next, we're going to move on to an earring that uses some of the, so the paper clip chain. I am going to cut off three links off of this chain and I am actually using my um, memory wire cutters because this is very stiff chain and I don't want to mar my um, nice nippers um, more than they already are. So I'm going to count three, one, two, three, and cut the fourth. And you can kind of see how it's turning sideways. You're gonna need to cut it a couple times. It's just very substantial chain, which is great when you're making a necklace or hanging something heavy, but we wanna make sure we cut it apart correctly. There we go. It did not like cutting on the side. <laughs> so yes, I would use a heavy duty set or your um, memory wire set. Um, again, we only need those three links. 
I am going to out of out of the Pride and Prejudice mix, I am going to grab six of these little blue crystals. One of the large um, periwinkle drops. I guess it's periwinkle, not blue, and a bead cap. And I need seven ball head pins. So I'm going to slide on my large drop and my bead cap and start to wire wrap that into a loop. Pull that around. And then before I close that up, I am going to slip on my chain. You can grab your pliers or just use your fingers and um, wrap that extra tail around itself in a wire wrapped loop. These are very malleable, so um, they're pretty easy to wrap. And then I am going to trim. So we have a dangle cute little earring, but we're going to spice it up by putting two wire wrapped dangles on each link going up the earring. So I'll go like this, just like we did with the teardrop to the back. And each one of these will get three links. So I'm going to put one on either side of this blue teardrop, and then I'll put one on either side of this link right there and same for the top link. I'll show you one more time. And then we'll just wrap. Again, wrap with your heart. <laughs> Do whatever feels right. Snip. And I will continue that up the earring. All right, now that I have um, a really cute and sparkly piece, uh, I just need an ear wire. You can use whatever ear wire you'd like, but um, I just have a silver ear wire from Beetleon, and I am going to find that top link and slide that right on. And close it up. And we have these wonderful sparkly earrings. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And you can load those with any, as many beads as you like, but I liked seeing the silver links between. So there is pair two. Pair three, we are going to be using some of the beads from the um, Murder on the Orient Express mix, um, and some from Charlotte's Web, and I believe some from Anne of Green Gables. I need this pearl. We're gonna grab two bead caps, four of these tiny crystals that are just really cool, and um, this spacer. For this pair of earrings, we're gonna need a, a ball head pin from Beetleon and some Supplemax. I'm using um, 0.3 millimeter. This is monofilament. Just grab um, maybe a few inches, maybe an, a foot doesn't you don't you're not going to need too much and we're going to load all four of these crystals onto the monofilament then i am going to slide those to the middle of the monofilament and then find just one on either side, just pick one bead from the four that you slid on, and you're gonna come back through the bead with the other side of your monofilament. So as you can see, this side, the left side, has already come through the bead going that way. I'm gonna take the right side and come through going the other way. I'll grab both of my tails, and then make sure those beads kind of stay in the middle And we are going to end up with what looks like a ring of beads. Okay, just like that. So holding one side tight, I am gonna start going through 
the beads again. I'm going to take this side, go through, and I'm going to go through one more bead. And it looks like the loop is falling apart, but trust me, trust the process, it's not. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this end and come through this bead to meet that other tail in the same spot. There we go. And then we're going to tie a knot in these two pieces. Like this. So we have, oh, our little guy turned a little bit. So we have a, a piece that kind of looks like that, okay, like a square. And then I am going to do the exact same thing one more time. Well, I'm going to knot it one more time, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing and pull those tails through our square. So I'm going to go this way with one. So we're kind of backtracking a little bit. And then I'm going to meet that by going the other way with the other tail. And we are going to tie another knot twice. One, two, and we have a new rondelle. So I'm going to cut off my tails of my monofilament. Okay. Uh, and then we have our ball head pin. I'm going to slide on my pearl, a bead cap, a bead cap and then I am going to put on my new beaded rondelle, another bead cap, but the bead cap facing the, the pearl itself again. And then I am going to put on my spacer. I'll take my pliers and do a wire wrapped loop. And we will wrap that around using some pliers because it's a little bit smaller. And the tighter you wrap, the more it holds everything in place. So nothing's rattling around. There we go. And we will trim off the end of our loop, our tail. Open up our earring wire. And you have a fantastic little beaded rondelle made out of more Jesse James beads. Isn't that fun? And super sparkly. This is a very dressy pair of earrings, but pretty simple to make once you make your beaded rondelle. All right, last but not least, I used the uh, Murder on the Orient Express mix. And um, I grabbed three beads out of there. This beautiful, um, uh, hematite looking crystal which is purple on the back so you can choose which part you want to use as the front i am going to use the gunmetal side i got out this um, spacer that looks like a sea urchin and then this little saucer spacer i have some 26 gauge german style wire from Beanalon. 
And quite like that first pair of earrings, I'm gonna go through our um, saucer like this, like it's a charm instead of just a bead. So I'm going to meet my ends here, slide that saucer all the way down, and then meet my um, wires. Then I'm going to come up through my crystal But instead of piling on a bunch of spacers like we did in that first pair of earrings, I am going to separate my wires right here. And I'm going to take the back one, or one choose to choose the back, come through the urchin through the back, and then I'm going to take the second and come through the urchin through the front, quite like we did um, on those crystals, that last crystal pair of earrings. So I am going to slowly move that sea urchin down towards our crystal. You just wanna finagle the wire until everything's facing the right way. Okay, so we have one coming from the front and one coming from the back. I'm gonna move my urchin just a little bit here. There we go. So our urchin is semi-suspended uh, above that crystal. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit, there we go. And then before I um, wire wrap, I'm going to take my pliers, hold the wires together, and I'm going to twist a little bit so we get a twisted wire right above that urchin to give it some more dimension. So you're just going to keep twisting and twisting until you get the look you want. All right, I have my twisted wire, and then I'm just going to wire wrap it into a loop. And messy wrap that around. Okay. We will snip. Grab an ear wire. And make sure your loop is facing the right way. And here is pair number four. I just really love that sea urchin and wanted it to get wanted to get it vertical instead of stacked. So I hope today you learned something new. And this is actually a reversible earring too with that purple. Um, I hope you I hope you learned something new today. Um, let me know which pair is your favorite. We made four. And uh, thank you to Jesse James Beads for having me back. I hope you enjoy the January Magical Mystery Beatbox. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.